Now, the lethal coronavirus is spreading exponentially across the Latin American country of Peru. Several provinces also put on high alert as cases grew at a record pace since the outbreak hit the country in early March. Now, in the last two weeks, infections in Peru surged by 100,000 cases, the worst the country has seen to date. The government was forced to ban all mass gatherings as a measure to limit further spread of the virus. The objective is also to track and trace down infected children who happen to be the main source of infection, resulting in new clusters across Peru. Nos ha preocupado sobremanera que en las últimas semanas el incremento de las tasas de contagio en niños y adolescentes se ha incrementado en un 75%. Esto nos llama poderosamente la atención. Es por ello que no queremos prohibir la salida de los niños, sino queremos limitarla a los iniciales 30 minutos. Minors who develop the disease are often asymptomatic children and they become silent transmitters of the coronavirus to elders in the house. The situation in Peru worsened in early August as new cases doubled in a matter of 10 days. The death rate among infected patients also surged to an average of 200 per day for one entire month. According to a study on the epidemiology of critical coronavirus and children, it is uncommon for children to get critical due to the COVID-19 disease. And health experts in pediatrics feel that a friendly environment is likely to help children fight the pandemic better. As of now, Peru ranks second in Latin America with more than 567,000 cases and over 27,000 deaths. It is also the sixth most affected country in the world due to the coronavirus pandemic.